Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Around the World. Maybe heard 37. So we are in Zakynthos and we are going to be going to, I believe it's called Heraklion. Uh, it's on the island of Crete. So we'll go ahead and start getting this start up. Tank selectors are on. Everything is of course off. Put that up. All right, I'm gonna turn the battery on. Why is it trying to start up? Starter is off. That was kind of weird. Why did it um try to start up? That was kind of weird. It was like a glitch or something. All right, the nav and the beacon are on. Turn on the fuel boost here. On the starter, put this in low idle. Alright. Start it up. We'll turn off the starter. Also, turn off the fuel boost. We'll turn on the avionics and also the generator. We'll turn on the prop auto heat and the pedo heat as well. Get that open and uh, let's hit up ATC, see where we're going to go out. We're going to go out to the southeast. Uh, say to the Contact south. Off round. Cessna, ready to taxi. Stop departure. Cessna, taxi 2 and hold short of runway 3 4, using taxiway Alpha. Runway 1 6, contact tower on 125.425 when ready. Alright. Taxi, hold short, runway 3 4, via taxiway Alpha, runway 1. Now it's probably going to say go to the back behind us. Yeah, we won't, we'll just go straight ahead. So I'll turn on the taxi light. Turn off the parking brake. Let me bring the yoke back up too. Alright, let's start taxiing on over. I'm gonna go a little to the left. We got those carts right next to us. Don't hit that. All right, and I actually wanted to do one thing before, instead of going straight, just straight there. I want to, uh, want to kind of go around the island. Uh, there's a place I don't know how exactly how to uh, say it. it's like Navagio Beach, Navagio. I have no idea. It's a beach. It's also they call it Shipwreck Beach, uh, Smuggler's Cove. It's right over, I believe, in this area over here. It's a famous beach, like they take tourists there and stuff. And it's just a little cove. Where, and there's actually like a shipwreck there too. And I just wanted to go by and see if uh, we can actually see it. Alright, let's stop right here. I hate that I have to move, take off the yoke to get to the parking brake. Let's set up ATC. Press clearance. Dang it. Alright, I'm going to set this to 14.5 real quick. Acknowledge that. Alright, also, let's... What would our heading be? Desired track 121. So let's get this set up at 1... Let's go the other way. 121. Actually, we can't do that. We got to go three four zero. Uh, we got to go because the runway heading. All right, let's turn on the landing lights. Strobe. We'll go ahead and taxi on out. We can probably take off from right here. It's a pretty good sized runway, so let's just take off from right here. No real sense in going all the way down there when we can just take off here. It's not quite as much room as I thought, but still not a problem for this plane. All 
going to back up a little bit. We've got that flashing warning. There we go. It, it comes way down as soon as you get up in the air. Take a look outside real quick. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just did that. We're going to get a texture freak out, aren't we? It's not freaking out yet. I don't know how we avoided a texture freak out right there. Alright, I also, I don't want to go too high though. So I want to see if we can see that like little cove, like little uh, shipwreck and everything. I don't know if they, I highly doubt it's there because it would have to be there from Microsoft. Uh, I don't think they put that in Zante, obviously. It's, has nothing to do with the airport or anything. And I would say that they probably didn't put it in there, but it would be cool if they did. Just gotta head over those mountains. Like I guess I don't want to get too high, but I guess we got some time. All right, maybe just kind of straight out here, maybe a little over to the right. Cause so I'm, uh, like I say, they take tourists over there in the, the ships. I think if they take them from right over here and take them on up, I can't totally remember. So I can't exactly locate it on a map, but I'm thinking that's about where it is. So I'm going to head a little bit over to the right here. I think the island on the map here looks a little bit bigger than it actually is. Also, I didn't know that Crete was like an island owned by Greece. I thought Crete was just like its own country, like island, little island country. Apparently not. But I guess it's like maybe the southernmost part of Greece as well. Uh, the airport that we're going to, Heraklion International Airport or whatever it's called, is actually the second busiest airport in Greece next to uh, Athens International. It's got a pretty good size runway. I think it's somewhere around 8,800 feet, 8,200 feet, something along there. So hopefully it's a pretty good flight. It's about 250 or so miles. A little bit longer now that we're in search of this beach. I'm going to head down a little bit. I, know we're, I see that overspeed. There we go. It would suck if we like came over here and then realized later on I just went just to the left of it. Hopefully it's here though. I was just watching some videos on YouTube of people base jumping there and everything. And it's weird like they take so many tourists there, it's just crazy how many boats and stuff and how many people are on the beach, it's kind of crazy. You'd almost like it to be a little more secluded, but they take like thousands of people there. Watch it, probably won't even be there. That really kind of sucks too. I should have checked it out before I flew, but I said that we'll discover it together. Alright. 
think we've gone to the right far enough so that if it's here, we're going to see it. I see that light blue water over to our left. I hope that wouldn't be it. Like I say, I'm kind of betting it. If I was a betting person, and I am, I would bet it's not here. We're going to find out. Alright. Let's slow it up a little bit. We are quite low. Alright, we'll head down the coastline. Yeah, that's not it. I saw the blue water and I was like, could that be it? Probably not. No, it's not. It's like a little cove. I'm kind of betting it's not going to be here. From the looks of it on the map, it would be like this actual cove here. Yeah, that's, I bet that's probably it if they put it in. Well, I don't know, because the water is kind of messed up there. But that would kind of look like it. Like I say, they base jump off of it. Although it's a, a what nice white beach. So I would guess that that's it. It could be something like this, though. Look, they put a freaking house in there or something. What in the world? It looks like the water is up and not supposed to be. But it's really cool on YouTube. There's actually a, an old shipwreck in it, in the cove, too. Heck, that, this could be it right here, if they ever put it in the game. I doubt it. Alright, yeah, I kind of doubt that they put it in. Like, this is the area, from what I can remember looking, up, looking it up on the map as best I could, it was in this kind of a area on the map. Like I say, they take a, they load the tourists up and take them over there all the time, I guess. Alright. Let's go ahead and speed up. Because I believe we're, we're about at the end of uh, our search area. Yeah, I figured they wouldn't have really put it in there, because it would have been Microsoft that would have done it. Just they made this area. Alright. I'll check this one last little area, and then we'll head on over to uh, Heraklion, or Crete, whatever you want to call it. There's this Heraklion Airport on the island of Crete. Yeah, all right. Let's head on out of here. Oh well, we looked. All right. Kind of fun to scour the island though. All right, let me set the heading to 121. One. 
guessing that's what it's going to say is the desired track. 120, second 121. Should put it 122. Turn on the autopilot. Including the heading and the vertical speed. Like I said, we've already set our altitude in there. Put our vertical speed up to about a thousand or so. Let's see, it was at 95. I think that's a thousand right there. Or is it still 95? There we go, it's a thousand feet a minute. On, um, on the way up to 14.5, let's see exactly how far are we? Distance 301 nautical miles from here. All right, that's a good deal. So, so we'll go ahead and speed it up and uh, we'll be back in just a little bit.
Alright everybody, I just slowed it down a little bit. I'm actually going to put it back to normal, or down to normal. We need to holler at ATC. We're at 10,300 feet. Should probably actually descend a little bit quicker. I'll do that in just a second. Actually, let's go ahead and do it now. So it was descending at 700 feet a minute, and I don't think that's quite fast enough for the speed, at least, that we're going. Pull back on the throttle a little bit. All right. LGIR is our airport. I'll pull back on the throttle even more. All right, request a full stop landing. Runway 9, so it basically is just about straight in. Let's go out to... Man, we're getting some weird stuff with this today. I'm going to come out a little bit to the right. Need to get our landing lights and everything on. Put the taxi light on as well. We're just sitting at 1,200 feet a minute. We are 20 miles out. I think we could probably let up a little bit. But I'll, I'll keep it at this just in case. I'll speed up just a little bit as well. I love these mountainous islands, man. Really, really, really cool. I think this is a fairly large island, especially compared to the ones that we've been hopping around to. Crete. See if we can. Okay, is that 18 miles or 16 miles? I can't tell. But I've got it set to go down to 3,000 feet and then stop for us. Looks like the airport should be just about straight ahead, right over here, maybe. I, I believe there's two different runways. I can't remember for sure. Ourself just so that I right a little bit more. I don't want to go too much actually because I've already put us over there a little bit. Can't tell if that's a runway or not. I Probably not. Alright, now we're 16 miles out, so we're descending more than quick enough. Well, I don't know. We're still at 7,000 feet, actually. So maybe not. It's best to get down quicker. That way we won't have to go around. Because we're going to stop at 3,000 feet anyway. In fact, I'm betting that we're not descending quick enough, actually. So I'm going to pull back on the throttles again. Get so from the looks of it, is it right? Looks like it's right on the water. See, I waited an extra long time to descend because I'm always off on these small planes. <laughs> Descending too quick and too slow. I've probably done it again. Alright, we're 6,000 feet. That's, uh, I just saw a flash of light. Maybe that is the runway. Really need to get down. Put it 1800 feet. Is there a runway there and a runway there? I cannot tell. That can't be runway nine if it's running that way. We'd have to run just about that way. Is that seven, eight? Oh. Well, Nine is dead east. It would probably help if we were a little bit lower. We could actually see the runways. It 
it looks like there's one going that way and one going this way. I believe that's where we're going to try and land right there. By the way, the scenery is all completely to the right for the complexity and everything. Yeah, alright, got one going that way and one going this way. Alright. Get rid of this autopilot. Alright, get everything off and, uh, there. I needed to at least get one flap of notch out, or one notch of flaps out. Our airspeed isn't a problem, but we still need to get down. So we'll come out here to the right a little bit. I don't think we're too bad off. We're at about 2,400 feet. Is that a stadium straight ahead on the beach? It looks like it. Looks like it's all really populated on the beach. Then not so much. Alright, everything looks good. It's like a stadium or something, isn't it? Alright, we're coming up on the glide slope. We got, looks like, three white and one red, maybe? And there's that, like, little... I always think of that as a fortress. I've seen that several times. It was on the news as well, I believe. And they were talking about that whole grape collapse and everything. Alright, we've gotten a little too low now. I was trying to look at some of that scenery. Is a stadium. All right. All right, we're a little high now. I kind of figured that would happen. Feels like a really slow approach. Like we were trying to get down so so hard, and we actually got down quicker than we needed to. There's a big port as well. Alright, so let's head on down. Let's see, we got well high. Pretty good scenery. Coming back on the glide slope now. Alright, on the glide slope. Switch my view around. Sorry I'm being quiet, just kind of concentrating a little bit. Getting a little to the right there. Alright. Safely down. You miss those uh, short little taxiways. Are you going to tell me there's no taxi place until we go way down? Here, right here. Nope. Now, there's a solid little taxiway to the right. Nope. That sucks. Now we got to go down. Don't get it going too fast. All 
All right. He's gonna yell and say, "Get off there!" Yeah, I knew he was gonna say that. No, he was gonna say it. Get off me, man! All right. All right. Knowledge is a little ground to hand off. All right. Uh, we'll go to parking. What? Landing lights off, uh, strobe off. Okay, sorry. Progressive taxi. Don't tell me we're going back around. Good. I hate it when they say go back around the runway. What is that exactly? Like an observatory or something? Digging all this uh, scenery. Man, this is our last uh, Greek flight. I've kind of enjoyed hopping around all the uh, Greek islands. Why does parking have to be all the way down here when I guess the commercial is all back behind us? Oh, it doesn't suck that we uh, had to come down here because we had to come down here to park anyway, I guess. Yeah, but really digging the scenery, all the scenery. Kind of excited to get to the Greece and start island hopping and everything, and now it's kind of over. And I don't know exactly where to go from here. I think I'm going to head uh, south and east, kind of go through uh, the Middle East. There are is, there is some soft uh, third-party airports uh, that I've got for over there. So we can check some of them out. Why is that flashing like that? So it should be pretty good. The thing is, we gotta come up. We gotta go through uh, Russia. The only way to get back to the U.S. is through Russia. So I think through the Middle East, then uh, north and west, or no, I'm sorry, north and east. Uh, maybe go through like. I don't know, like India and Malaysia, Indonesia, stuff uh, over in there. I've got, a, like I said, a little bit of scenery for that stuff too. In Asia, and we'd have, but we have to go to Russia eventually. All right, hit the parking brake. Let's see if I remember how to shut it down. Alright, everything, uh, turn off the avionics, oops, turn off the generator, I'll leave that alone, turn off the battery, whoops, and the prop auto heat, turn off the fuel selectors, and we are done. Look outside. I like that. Even like, like that fence I like. Just a nice touch. There's all the main facilities, I guess. Well, everybody, it's been fun here in Greece, but our trip around the world will continue. Are you coming to pick me up, buddy? That would be sweet. Uh, the trip around the world will continue, like I say. Probably going to go through the Middle East next. But, uh, we'll see exactly what happens. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will catch you on the next flight.